It is St. Patty's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day, Day, everyone. Chris Hardwick's back. I'm the back. The return of Chris Hardwick. I am back here for uh, St. Patrick's Day. And your beautiful wife is Irish. Yeah, her, her parents had dual citizenship. How yeah, so that? She's, she's yeah. Irish. Yeah. So uh, just in case, I'm sure, uh, I mean, I think a lot of people in America think of, think of, think of St. Patrick's Day as like, start drinking at 10 a.m. day. But it's actually, uh, that was the day St. Patrick, the uh, patron saint of Ireland, yes. uh, essentially brought Christianity uh, to Ireland, drove the snakes out. The snakes were symbolic as the pagans. That's right. Uh, but uh, drink it up. Uh, <laughs> some of the numbers, $5.3 billion amount of money expected to be spent on St. Patrick's Day in 2017. <laughs> And uh, was spent on what exactly? Green, green stuff. Beer. Yeah, green yes, stuff. Yeah, green beer, yeah. green hats. Yeah, all sorts of things. What did you say? Green bagels. Green bagels. Green okay, bagels. Gilman. Um, <laughs> the average American on St. Patrick's Day, the party goer, average American will spend this. I feel like this is low. Thirty-six dollars and fifty cents. The average American. That feels low. I feel like it'd be more. Uh, I, I guess I don't know. I, I don't. There's like know. two drinks in New York, right? Yeah, that is two drinks in New York. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then fifty-six point one percent number of Americans who plan to celebrate. Um, I, I don't drink. I haven't done that for a long time, but... Uh, but wow. Yeah, I know. stopped. I did. Good for you. I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I, 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 no, please. I, I, often, I often think about giving up alcohol for Lent, and then I'm like, <laughs> that's too much of a sacrifice. Yeah. Yeah, you can only wake up on so many strange floors before you're like, maybe I shouldn't do this anymore. Uh, but, God, but God bless you if you can do it. Yeah. Uh, it's fun. And then, uh, yeah, so it should be a Those fun. Those are good. Be safe, have fun out there, be responsible Yes, it's you finally going to, yes. Yeah. Today for the parade, you know, the yeah. big St. Patty's Day parade in New York, it's uh, warming up all the way to 40 degrees. 40 so, whole degrees. Yeah, 40 whole degrees. And it's a real field temperature. Of 40 degrees. Nice. Yeah. But 40 so degrees. It's 40 that feels like 40 instead of 40 that feels like 18. That's right. But 40 in New York is not that bad. 40 in New York feels pretty good. 40 in New York is, you know, in 10 more degrees, they'll be topless in Central Park. <laughs> <laughs> they might be now. They might be right now. Yeah. We walk out and say that because it's St. Patrick's Day. Correct. And we would see a lot of. Uh, Never know. Yeah, we would see a lot of. It's, it, are there, is it snow? Is it going to snow again? Or are you guys done with the snow? Oh, I wouldn't say done. You, I mean, how far into the year does it snow in New York? Does, May. does New York know it's almost spring? It, it can snow. It can snow in May. It snowed on my wedding day, May 1st. That's beautiful. Yes, yes, yeah. So we flew to Vegas. <laughs> I was like, let's take the ultimate gamble. Let's get out of here. Yeah, where is yeah. raining? And like? they were, and they were, they were de-icing the wings. I always tell the story. They were de-icing the wings of the plane, and I was very nervous. And I was like, maybe we should get on the plane it's it's they're de-icing the wings and what if it's dangerous and then ricky lake got on our flight and i was like god would not take ricky lake from us <laughs> i'm not kidding you're safe like, god, we are safe because ricky lake got on the plane ricky lake saved your life that and, day. Of my marriage. and your marriage yes. yeah yes. yeah i tell her that all i i bump we're all here because her. of ricky lake i bump into her every now and again and i always tell her that and now she's like you know i'm sure she's tired she's like i know i know I saved your marriage. <laughs> um. Well, you, uh, it, it's interesting that you say that because um, it, it, travel, my wife left her laptop on the plane <gasps> out here. No. She came out a couple days early. No. I get a text from her, I can't find my laptop. I think I left it on the plane. So, so what happened? You can't call anyone when you leave something on a plane, and you know there's no like lost and found. From it's the a plane? form. You got to fill out a form, oh. and uh, and time is of the essence when you leave something on a plane. So I did what any a uh, good husband with a lot of Twitter followers would do, which is I shamed them online. Good for you. <laughs> no, I look like such a jerk. I, I, boy. I feel like when TV people do that, they look like jerks. Like, no, oh, man, yeah, I'm gonna shame them. But, uh, but it worked, <laughs> I gotta say it worked. Yeah, I don't you know. You got it back? You, you can't argue back. with results, we got it back, yeah. I just feel like they need a better system in place for people who don't have a lot of Twitter my followers. Dad, my dad was a bus driver for New Jersey Transit for forever, and um, they had a system where whatever you left on the bus, uh, on the bus at the end, like. My my dad would walk through the bus and he would like gather the things that people would leave on the bus. Yeah. And after 30 days, like if nobody had called in to claim whatever it was, because it was just an old fashioned system, you would call your line and say, I left my scarf or I left my hat or my purse or whatever. 
But once in a while, like an amazing toy was left on the bus. And my dad would come home and he'd be like, girls? He's like, Golden Dreams Barbie on the bus. And we'd be like, how many days? And he's like, we got 28 more days. And like every day he would come home and we'd be like, Anybody call in yet? He's like, not yet. <laughs> and we'd be like, oh my God. Did you ever get to like, like the 29th? Like, sorry, I got 29 days. Okay, we almost had it. Once in a while, like there would be like an epic disappointment. But usually if somebody left like a doll behind, it was just collateral damage of the trip and it became a possession of my sister and me but then my mom would insist that we boiled it and it would always like <laughs> somehow just to get off whatever sort of residual yeah somehow uh, it would germ. just ruin the doll yeah. just ever so slightly yeah I would know? be scared if I came in and saw my mom boiling a Barbie doll I'd be very worried about her I did not realize this you were in Rock of Ages in LA I was in the original production of Rock of Ages yeah uh, I cannot believe that. Yeah. How did I not know that you sing as well? I don't know. Uh, but <laughs> I, I honestly, uh, I, I'm a good karaoke singer. I'm not like a good singer singer. I disagree. No. I, I, excuse me, if you're in Rock of Ages. I was, but I wasn't in the Broadway. So I, uh, I, I, I can I just tell a quick little story? No, tell the I, full long story. Okay, so I covered I covered Wanted Dead or Alive for the show called Comedy Jam on Comedy Central where a comedian comes out, tells a story, covers a song. Richie Sambor played. The reason that I covered the song was um, I was at Comic-Con a couple years ago, as I am wont to do. Yeah. And I'm moderating a panel and Tom Cruise is on the panel. So Tom Cruise comes out, everyone loses their mind and he goes, First thing he says to me, hey, Chris, you and I have something in common. And I go, I'm pretty sure that's not true, Tom Cruise, because I can't right, think right. of what that is. Yeah. And he goes, Rock of Ages. And I go, oh, my God. He played the same character from the stage play. He was in the movie, Rock of Ages. And it totally flipped me out. And I, it's rare I'm at a loss for words. But at this point, I go, how does Tom Cruise know who I am? And out of nowhere, he goes, I want to know what love is. And then 7,000 nerds at Comic-Con slowly turn their heads and look at me like, what are you going to do? Yeah, what did you do? I want you to show me. And then he goes, I want to feel what love is. And I go, I know. And I literally stop and I go, are we going to make love, Tom Cruise? What's happening right yes, now? Because I, there's a vibe. I mean, and did you? No, no, I was pretty sure I died on the way to Comic-Con. Yeah. And I, Tom Cruise works for heaven. I'm telling you. Tom Cruise never ceases to amaze me. He's incredible. He's an incredible guy. He's nice. He's Fine. super sweet. Yes. And works really hard. And remembers things. He does. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he, when we had him, when I did that panel with him, I said, will you come on my podcast? And he looked me right in the eye and he goes, I would love to. Yeah. And he did it. He came on and he, like a year later, he came on. He's the best. Guys, they... I, I mean, I'm pretty sure he's probably watching us. He's right? watching us all. Tom is with he's us at all us. times. He's with us. What's with happening? The clip of the, um... You do? Oh, you have the same Oh, let's watch it. Oh, wait, let's watch it. Oh, this let's is watch from it. the... Okay. Who are you? Uh, I, I'm John Bon Jovi. It's obvious who I am. From I New Jersey. Mean, that was amazing. I speak on behalf of all of us. Did your mom see that? Yeah, my mom saw Did it. Did she freak out? She loves it because she loves Bon Jovi. As a little Italian lady. Italian lady. Yeah, yeah, you know. know. She's like Italian you, lady. little Italian yeah. lady. Yeah. We all like Bon Jovi. Yeah, we so I'm like sorry it. to plug my own thing. It's silly. But it was it was one of the most fun things I've ever gotten to do, play with Richie that Sambora. That was amazing. Yeah. Because last time you were... <laughs> I don't know if you recall what happened. We had a computer glitch on our show, which sort of erased the second half of our show. Not sort of, completely erased. Okay, completely. Yeah. And I was like, well, can't, I was like, just roll the tape. Just put the, t and they're like, Kelly, we don't know where you've been, but there is no tape. And I was like, well, what are we, I was like, well, where, what are we shooting this show on, film? And they're yeah. like, Kelly, no. It's all on computers. It's a computer with yeah. a chip and a thing and a hard drive, and it's and it's it's disappeared. Yeah. Right? So I think I, I think I was on my way to the airport. I, I don't know if Galen yes. called. It was like, yeah. so <laughs> we need to get you back. Yeah. So we we came back and did like the last two segments of the show again. Yeah. It was, it was really fun. It was with fun. an audience from the Chew. Yeah. We borrowed the I'm Chew's not audience. The Chew. We get to play with these now. Oh, yeah, I get to play with glasses. It's time for winter lip sync travel trivia. <laughs> hey, that's Wendy.
McMillan from New Bron Bronfels, Texas. Yes. <laughs> And now we're going to say hello to Julie Chatelaine. She is from uh, Ottawa, Ontario. Let's get her up. Hold Julie. Oh. Bonjour. Good morning, Kelly. Good morning, Chris. How are Hi, you? Good morning, Excellent. Julie. Hey, I like you. Uh, tree hugger? You're a tree hugger there, we see, literally. Yeah. I have a new appreciation for trees. Aww. That why, why a new appreciation for trees? Well, it's just not something you really notice when you're younger, but... Uh, yeah, this was in Vancouver, B.C., and now I look at trees and I, I find them so beautiful. Yeah. Excellent. Very soothing to walk through a forest. Well, let's see what you're playing for. It could be a forest. Okay. Yeah. Which is it? Oh. Uh, the Tradewind Island Resorts in St. Pete Beach, Florida. Seven days, six nights. It includes a spa treatment per person. This trip is provided in part by Hotels.com. It's a prize valued at $4,200. You have 20 seconds, Julie, and only one guest. Good luck. All right, here we go. There's trees down there. There's trees down there, so you're yeah. covered. Palm trees. Ice Cube appeared on the show earlier this week. In what class did Ice Cube say he was when he wrote his first rap song on a dare? He was in a typing class. Yeah! Congratulations. You and a guest will enjoy seven days and six nights at the Trade Winds Island Resorts on St. Pete Beach on Florida's West Coast. Consistently ranked one of America's top beaches by TripAdvisor. Enjoy endless beach activities, dining and beach bars, and exciting kids programs, spacious accommodations, and more. Trade Winds Island Resorts. Enjoy life and just let go. Your prize is valued at approximately $4,200. Julie, congratulations. Thank you. All right, now you get to help make the day of a lucky member of our studio audience who will receive a $500 appliance package from Cuisinart. So please pick a number between 1 and 235. 199. 199. Who's 199? 199. Woo! I hear the screaming way up there. Shades of Blue, Jennifer Lopez will be here. Yes, and from the new series Trial and Error, John Lithgow will be here, yeah. and then your co-host. Yes, from The Walking Dead, our good friend Jeffrey Dean Morgan. It's Negan. JDM. Oh. Negan, he's going to beat everyone with a um, baseball bat. I love him so much. How can a man that used to scare me so much, now he doesn't scare me at he's all? He's such a sweet guy. He's, he's so nicest, opposite. He's so opposite, he's Negan. He's the nicest person. He is. But there's another nicest person over here in the wings. Oh, I know. Uh, we should bring him wings. back. Yeah. yeah, he's a New York Times best-selling author, an award-winning actor, a screenwriter, a director, and a producer. Please welcome the man who truly does it all, Brian Cranston. Yeah, yeah. It's the traditional St. Patrick's Day dance. Yes. Actually, it's hey, happy St. Patty's Day. Happy St. Patty's Day to you, too. Thank you. I am Irish. You, are you 100% Irish? Not 100%. I don't know that any Irishman is really 100%. Yeah. Yeah. I'm uh, about 50 proof, oh, I guess. Good for you. Good for you. Yeah. So what will you do today to celebrate? I will uh, celebrate by the uh, traditional nap mm. about 3 in the afternoon. Mm. Yep. Yes. Uh, no, kale, corned beef and cabbage. Yeah, of course. Love that. Yes, yeah, the best. But you just your birthday. You just had your birthday, so this has been like a, this is a celebratory Extended. week for you. I take the whole month. You take the entire. month? <laughs> I take month the entire month. Yeah. Month birthday. Yes. I turned sixty-one. What? Really? Yeah. You look really good. 
Are you doing? You sound really surprised. No, I, I, no I'm just surprised that you really? are 61. I would say that you're at least 10 years younger than that. You got moves, son. You got yeah. moves. Can I just do this now for a little bit? Yeah, yeah. this is so adorable. Thank you. Yeah. That's very nice. You, you need to write another book about your beauty secrets oh, and your please. youth rituals. You know what I have been doing, though? I have been fasting a couple days a week now. That They say that that is a really good It's supposed plan. to be the best thing for you. So what days do you fast? Any two days during a week. It could be, you know, I, I pick days that I'm really busy. Yeah. So that you go through the day and, and you drink a lot of water and you're right. flushing out your system. It's yeah. Really, and really then good. do you then, and then do you pig out on the other days? No. Or you just eat like a normal person? No, because your your stomach sort of shrinks and then you and you feel good. You feel lighter and cleaner and your face is clearer. And, yeah. And so you just kind of want to take care of yourself a little better. Huh. So I do that. What you're doing is working, girl. Yeah. Good, too. <laughs> Jimmy Kimmel does it, too. Yeah, 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 yeah he does. Yeah. So, wow. You know, uh, Cranston has played so many iconic characters, but uh, but Hal, I think, was probably the first really big character. People go, oh, my God, that guy is amazing. He's oh. hilarious. Malcolm in the Middle was a phenomenal show. Yeah. yeah. I was, there was, um, is it true that there was a thing where the writers had a thing that was like, what won't Brian Cranston do? Mm. Yeah, that's what I heard. I heard they were talking about what sort of uh, situations can we put him in ah. and w to what point will he say no I can't I'm not going to do so that. So what point was that? They, well, they haven't reached it yet. They haven't so, reached it. <laughs> so the oh, it's been, it was crazy I was strapped to a bus driving down a street I I was completely covered in blue paint one time I mean from head to toe completely with with the exception of a modesty patch. Sure. Oh, you got to wear a modesty patch. I got to wear a modesty patch. I got to wear a modesty And then everything else was... And uh, I was covered in bees one time. No I, kidding. Oh, wait, yeah. I have a photo of that. Yeah. Oh. Okay, wait. Are those, those real bees or like are those Hollywood? Like, Did you get a count? Like 75,000 honeybees. Did you get stung? Uh, I, I, I did get stung. Of course, you know, what I discovered is that when you're wearing bees, as I was, uh, getting stung is, it shouldn't be a surprise to you. <laughs> it should never be, what the heck was that? And you don't want to flail, you don't want to start yeah, yeah. If you do that, you're in trouble because yeah. bees anatomically, when you touch them, their, their stinger comes up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yes, in, in taking the bees, well, I was standing there with all these bees on and my action was to turn around. Yeah. And um, a bee apparently went down into my pants and, oh, and no. into my uh right in the bees right in the bees yeah right <laughs> yeah and you and got as stung it, in the nest i got stung there <laughs> and it was it was one of those it felt like it felt i was gonna oh. say it felt like a little prick but, uh, <laughs> yeah. well, i'm glad i didn't say that hey yeah, yeah. and 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 that's I went, right hide the children everybody hide the children and and it was i, I thought oh I got stung because the beekeeper said, tell me when you get stung. Yeah. And he's ready to clip it out. And you know, and I go, I got stung. He goes, where? And I went, uh, in the boys. Yeah. And he goes, sorry, man. Sorry, man. <laughs> said, Any, uh, Are you residual... allergic? Was there swelling? Was it? <laughs> <laughs> Describe that's, in detail. That's rather personal, Chris. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I am not allergic to bees. I love bees. But once uh, you get stung, let's say, in the nether region, mm -hmm. in the private. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I would think your instinct would be to flail, because I would think that that would hurt no. there. No, what I discovered is that a bee sting pain is largely, I would say 85% of a bee sting pain is the surprise. Ah, what, what is that type of right. thing, right? Where, and if you're wearing them, I got to, it was like, I think, uh, my reaction was, oh, I think, I think I just got stung because yeah. there's just a little bit of a, it's like, oh, you know, you get your blood taken or you prick your finger to test yeah. your blood. That's what it felt like. It's just like, oh, yeah. okay. Well, we have that bee here with a child. She claims oh my you're the father of her. <laughs> hey, I was single then. Hey. You, you, we're, you're going to take the polygraph, and then we're going to see. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We have to take a commercial break, but what's going to happen when we come back? Well, we're going to find out what costume Brian wore to a wedding ceremony when we come right back. He's <gasps> been to several. You played a lot of different roles, but before you had a tremendous amount of success, you, you worked a lot of odd jobs. Yeah. 
uh, and apparently you were a minister. You were an ordained minister. I was an ordained minister of the Universal Life Church. Oh my that gosh. is correct. Bless so you. So is my husband. Y yes. Yes. Has he married people? He has. He married Howard and Beth Stern. Oh wow. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, That's yeah, right. Yeah. Now that you mentioned that, yeah. and I did the same, and uh, it was crazy. It's for people who are a little avant-garde and you know want a, a different, shake it up a little bit, yeah, not right. the traditional wedding. Yeah. And one was uh, I. My first one was in a airplane, a six-seater airplane over the Hollywood sign. Oh, cool. <laughs> Very first one, I'm 19 years old. And I've got hair down to my shoulders, and I'm wearing shorts and a flowered shirt. That was crazy. And I was nervous, and I'm sitting up there with the pilot, you know, and, and the bride and groom are behind me. And, I, and it, the twin engine prop is so loud, I have to go, do you, Kelly and Chris, <laughs> take each yeah, other? Yeah. What? Do you yeah. take Kelly yeah. to be your long wedded oh, wife? Oh, yeah, yeah. I would, do uh, her. I'm nauseous. I'm going to throw up. Where's the vomit bag? And the two, are, the two getting married are so cute, and they're leaning forward trying to hear me, and I'm screaming, You may now kiss the bride! <laughs> what? Kiss, kiss, kiss her! You know, you, since you became famous, has anyone ever come to go, You married us I wondered time. if there would be oh a time. Oh, my gosh, yeah. yeah, we should, like, reach out. If anybody, if Brian Cranston married you... Let us know. Write to us, and, and then, then we'll and do a vow renewal. We can do a renewal on this show. Yes, oh. Do you have to do any theme weddings and people say, let's all dress up like lobsters? I, well, yeah. There were their theme weddings. So I, I did one as Elvis. Nice. One time I was like, you know, you only get married once in a while. Oh, yeah. You know, just crazy stuff. I, I, uh, there was a, some, they wanted a, a costume wedding, and yeah. I like costume wedding. Right. Can you bring a costume wedding? And I was poor. I didn't have a lot of money. Right. So I brought out a costume that, that someone had made me for Halloween one time, yeah. and I kept it. And it's of this, it's kind of a homemade bunny outfit. I, it's I like I, I wear. One. That's oh. me in the middle. Oh, I, if you look closely, there's a. I have buck teeth, and I have. I, it's like this. The it's reverend. Like a scene from Breaking Bad. Are you sure like, like Breaking Bad? <laughs> where you see, you see the the groom is uh, is what's without a wearing? shirt. Yeah, what's he wearing? And the bride is in. Tra uh, the bride I, is is looks normal. I got to be honest. Like, the bride did not seem. I don't think this marriage <laughs> lasted. <laughs> I, got, I have a prediction. It seems like only. The groom and his best man dressed in costume. <laughs> dressed in costume. And the bride and her bridesmaids are like, what's happening? What are you doing? <laughs> Nobody told us. <laughs> what's going on right now? This is not going to work. This is not, not going to work. work. Um, but if you are the people in that photo, let yeah. us know. Let us know Brian how it worked out. Like Will they really house. do it? I mean, they're right here on the shop. Obviously, Breaking Bad, I think, uh, and I'm not just saying, I'm not just slobbering on you because you're here. It's literally the greatest show in history of television. Thank you. I know how to make crystal meth. Perfect Thank series. You Perfect five season arc. It was incredible. Um, uh, it, 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 I know people have been asking you this, but is there any plans for Walter White to come back uh, for, for Better Call Saul? Are we about to go to commercial? Is that what? No, no. no. We I, don't, I don't know. What? I don't, man, there might be plans, but I'm not a part of that. So if, if Vince Gilligan, who created the show, came to me and said, would you come on the show? Of course I would. Well, I know Vince Gilligan. I know, I know Vince Gilligan. He was on your show. He was on Show. Yeah. We did the after show for you, Breaking Bad. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Brian, I think you should just come be uh, on every uh, episode of Intercom. You guys, now. That's a really yeah. yeah. you guys, that's a really remarkable imitation that you've both mastered. Of, of, of this? Yeah. Yeah. He's a sweet southern gentleman. He has a sweet kind of lilt to his Virginia accent. I don't know. You just went into Bill Clinton territory. <laughs> no, no. That's Arkansas. I'm just saying, you just sort of for a second. For a second, because when I did Cher once to Cher, and she said, "Are you doing Bill Clinton?" and I said, "Yes." <laughs> do you do? Wait a minute. Do you believe in life after love? <laughs> after love, after love, after love. After love. Uh, we come back. We're gonna find out about the Power Rangers movie, which I saw. Uh, we return. Bobby Kelly. Saban's Power Rangers. So this is. Uh, That's so cool. It's really cool. You play like the, the the face in the pin game. I'm Zordon. Yes. In the wall. That's amazing. They, they, disembodied voice. Ah, oh, it's so good. But, but they did a really good job. Yeah, but they used your face. Y y they did use my face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> and it was a, it was a very interesting shooting. It was a motion caption, so I had to put my chin on a little peg and not move it off, so that it would always be in focus. And I was just looking at little X's, little tape marks for the guys, because I shot this. I, I haven't even I haven't met these kids. What? I've Your never kids? met them. I didn't work with them. It's in my contract. <laughs> I don't work with kids <laughs> or dogs. When you go to that, when you go to the screening, you'll meet them. Probably. I will. I will meet them at some point. I would imagine. <laughs> yeah, That's at some point. Amazing. But they did a terrific job. Yeah, they did really did. Yeah, a the terrific movie's job. really fun. I watch, of course. I watch. I watched Power Rangers when it was on. Yeah. Uh, go 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 go, go Brian Cranston. <laughs> but uh, they did a good. They did a really good job of of updating all that because it was yeah. kitschy. You know, like the original Power Rangers was kitschy. Well, I was in it. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I I was when I first started Wait, out. Who did you play? What the? Uh, oh, okay, okay, well, okay. No, I don't. To be honest, I don't know the names of the characters I played. Right. But I would do the voices when they first came over. They brought the series over from Japan. Yeah. And they wanted to Americanize it, and so they created. They they got these kids to do the voices, and I was already 23 years old. So I would do the characters like the, the monsters and things like, you will not defeat me. I will destroy you. You know, and all that stuff. That's incredible. Yeah. By the way, I, I, yeah, I, by the I, way that's I think amazing. we have a clip of that. If you, you do? want to see it in action. You do? Curse mirrors on the ground. Smash the rangers to the ground. <laughs> Are you, are you impressed now? I'm really impressed. <laughs> I like the first, like, the lizard, scary lizard snake thing. Yeah. Wait, we gotta do it. We have to do it. Oh, yes. We have this, they did, the, they basically, they did, it they was Zordon with, like, pin art. This is the most like. exciting thing ever. Right, so. Okay, let's check it out. <laughs> oh, this really hurts. <laughs> that just hurt my face. Did I do it? Did it happen? I don't know, I have a dumb, I didn't do it right. I mean, this is so much harder than it looks. All right. Let's Anyone see. watching like this right now is wondering what they just tuned into. <laughs> I didn't. I can't. There. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. You did it. Yeah, it's like. Oh, that. you got your full face. Oh, you and, did it. You did a nice job. I think I only nose. have nose and a mouth. Well, oh, yeah. yours looks good. Oh, yeah. I just broke mine. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Brian. We love you here. Thanks. I'm trying. I don't know why I'm trying to make Thanks. the mouth move. Power Rangers is in theater next Friday, March 24th. See Brian Cranston. Elizabeth Banks plays Rita Repulsa. The movie's great. Go see it if you watch the series. And even if you had not to go see it. Next up, Chad Michael Murray. We'll see you in a few minutes. Yep. Fans know our next guest from his work in Gilmore Girls, Squeaky Friday, and One Tree Hill. Now he stars in the new series, Sun Records. Please welcome Chad Michael Murray. protect you. That Michael Murray was almost murdered by a pack of young girls getting to the stage. That's an exciting was, morning. I'm up. I'm ready. He was almost loved to death. <laughs> I love it. Um, hey, you're from Buffalo. Yeah. So Born you guys, you know, yesterday we had Jessica Lang on the show and mm -hmm. she's from Minnesota and she said that this is not a snowstorm at all. This doesn't qualify yeah. as even snow. So Buffalo, they get a lot of snow, right? Yeah, 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 that's my childhood. I was so excited to come out here because I heard about the 12 to 18 that didn't show up. Right. But where do you guys put it? Where do we put it? Yeah, you get 12 to 18 inches of snow. I just don't know where you put we it. Buffalo it, weekend. We don't they just it scoop right it up on the, the they just, yeah, they just well, put it right on the curbs? It yeah. seems like they yeah. just leave it right where it is nowadays. <laughs> it covers up some of the trash cans. Mm -hmm. I gotta say, I do like the green. Hey, thanks St. Paddy's Day. Yeah. Happy St. Paddy's Day, everyone. And to you as well. Yeah. Buffalo. I read got rated the number one place to celebrate St. Patty's Day. Is that true? I'm Irish myself, and so is most everyone from Buffalo. Irish and Polish, but yeah. Uh, yeah. No what are you going to do? What are you going to do yeah, for the holiday? So how will you celebrate? I'm going to change a few diapers. All <laughs> uh, right. You have a new baby. I do. I you do. do. A little boy or a little girl? A little girl. Uh-oh. A little girl. Oh, look at that. <laughs> are you sleeping at all? How are you feeling? I'm all right. Uh, I'm all right. Uh, what was the question? You know, I just na nodded off. We have a 22-month-old yeah. boy, wow. and uh, now we have, you know, a few-day-old girl. 
And it's just I'm so blessed, man. We just divvy the responsibilities. You know, I, I turns out I can't breastfeed. Yeah. So she has to take that responsibility. You know what? I'm glad you figured that out huh? early. I think you. It was you, weird. You don't want it bad enough. You just got to keep trying. <laughs> <laughs> Do it, bro. You just got to keep at it. You got to want it. So it's just one of those things where now I'm just taking on 100% of the boys' responsibilities. Our boy, I mean, he, and he's he's very much a daddy's boy. And then she's yeah. taking care of our daughter right now at the moment. And, You'll uh, see that will that will uh, switch. Like that will. That's what I'm hearing. It will really switch. It's the greatest thing in the world. Does your son though, so. understand what's happening? How how did you explain that? Because he's so young. Still. He's getting used to it. I mean, he he jumps in bed now in the morning and he goes, uh, you know, baby, baby, and he smiles, and that means. It's okay. She could stick around for a little while. Good. But, you know, Good. Uh, That's nice. But, you know, we just not allowed to throw those blocks anymore in the house. Yeah, right. Yeah, good, so. good, good idea. Listen, we have to take a commercial break. When mm -hmm. we come back, we're going to talk about you playing a music legend. More with Chad McMurray. So this is, a, this is a very big thing. I'm from Memphis. You shot this in Memphis. Sam, you're, you play legendary record producer Sam Phillips uh, of Sun Records, so uh, what can you tell us about him? He worked with all the big legends, right? He, uh, he was so ahead of his time. He was a journeyman. He was a yeah. pioneer. He, he started the first all-women's radio station, WHER. The man, the man didn't see color. He was just ahead of everything. He, he recorded anything, anywhere, anytime. And he brought rock and roll to the forefront. He's the, I mean, he's the father of rock and roll. He found Elvis, Johnny yeah. Cash, Jerry and, Lee Lewis. And th by the way, that was really scandalous at the time, right? Rock and roll yeah. was considered scandalous. It music. was, yeah. Elvis is is shaken, and uh, <laughs> and, uh, and the, the, the older folks didn't like it. I know, I know. When you see it now, you're like. What's so bad? <laughs> right? <laughs> I know, so our show's kind of tame for that, but uh, there is some nudity tonight, so my apologies in advance. Oh, there you go. Uh, <laughs> On your part? Yeah. Okay, there you go. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Sam, Sam was an incredible man, and uh, it couldn't have been done anywhere else but Memphis, by the way. Yeah, I, Memphis I love, is a wonderful town. That's your hometown? Yeah. Love it. Yeah, I'm in love with it. it. It's still... 1950 in Memphis. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, a lot of it hasn't changed. It hasn't changed. You go outside of, you know, the Orpheum Theater or you go down Beale Street and you go inside these beautiful restaurants and it's such an incredible landscape to shoot a show like this. So uh, it's been an honor and a pleasure. How does a boy from Buffalo get down there and play that southern drawl? <laughs> oh, man, that's a lot of work, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was... We, you know, happen to live in the modern technology, so uh, I got to sit back and, and watch a lot of Sam's old tapes when he was getting older and listen to his young recordings when he was with Jerry Lee Lewis wow. in the studio back in the day, and they had this great conversation. I got the devil in me, boy! And they're arguing back and forth, and I really felt that this man had such a booming voice. Yeah. And that must have been a huge part of what would make, you know, Elvis and Johnny Cash and Jerry Lee huge personas, right? Right. Uh, he had the ears of them. He could coach them and train them and get them where they needed to be, and it, it all started with his voice, so it's sort a lot of, like of work. the cast you're working with now, right? You're working with a lot of up-and-coming mm -hmm. up and coming actors. Are you advising them? Are Because you, you're like, I, I can't believe I'm about to say this, you're like the elder statesman of the show. <laughs> oh. I mean, <laughs> welcome to the club. Uh, they're dating me, huh? Yeah. But I mean, well, it's we're, really... we're we're moving on. We're getting up there. Uh, yes, yeah, 17 years, almost 18 years, I've been doing this, and so, right. you know, our Elvis is 17 himself. So he was just born when I started in this industry. Wow. They're young professionals, and the only thing that you can really do is is, is lead by example, you know. And I'm a blue collar guy from Buffalo, so it's you know, show up early, check out late, do everything to the best of your ability, and don't make any decisions above your pay grade that are not asked of you. Right. Don't step on toes. Smart. Uh, Smart. You know, but uh, these they're, they're, they're so talented. I mean, God, if I had that much uh, talent and that much wisdom that they do at 17, 19, 21, I mean, God, I couldn't. I couldn't string two words together when I was 21. Well, uh, Sun Records is on Thursdays at 10 p.m. on CMT. Chad Michael Murray is also an incredibly nice guy. <laughs> We've hung out before. He's a really sweet guy. So just know that the guy you worship is lovable in real life. We'll be right back. Oh, hi. Welcome back. Welcome back. What you got there? I... I, I had a, a, a wardrobe malfunction oh, during no. the... Okay, so this is the greatest invention in the world for dudes. This, I don't know what it's... A tie stay, I guess, but the tie stay goes behind in the little loop here, mm -hmm. and then you button it in, 
and it keeps your yeah, it keeps your tie straight. The problem is when it keeps it it keeps it keeps it straight. Yeah, it keeps to your shirt. The problem is when it pops off, which it did during the last segment, and no one told me. Watch this. Look yeah, at do that. you have it? There it is, and it's out. There it is. Could have been internet. Oh, hey, he's excited to see you. <laughs> so, um, no one. Yeah. So I apologize for the. You know, I must look like a moron going. Tell me about the craft of acting, Chad. <laughs> Tell me more about acting. I like That's it. That's really interesting. Tell me about how you crafted the character. It yeah, I wasn't distracting like, at all. It's, it's like, like if Aliens and like ne and Pret a Porter became a movie. It's like a horror fashion. Exa film. The movie people have been yes. waiting to see. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh, so, but these are great. I, I don't think they're super expensive, and then I'll hold your time, place. There you go. Until, and, until it doesn't work, and you're on national television. It's amazing. Until it's not. Until it's not. Amazing. Hey, hey, look at this. Hey, we were at your show March 9th and had to show off my uh, grandson Creighton in his new onesie. That's adorable. Hey. You make little onesies for babies? I guess. That's so cute. I guess we do. What about hats for dogs? Debbie from Poughkeepsie, New York says Bella's ready for whatever Mother Nature has in store for us. <laughs> yeah. Do dogs have paws. They don't need boots. Uh, that is funny. This dog has Ugg boots on. I, I like it I a lot. Know, I don't know how I feel. About it. The dog does not look enthused at all <laughs> by this turn of events. Hey, um, you were great today. Thank you. Really this was so enjoyed. much fun. Thank you for having me again. Patrick's Day, everyone. Chris is back. I'm the back. Turn of Chris Hardwick. I am back here for uh, St. Patrick's Day. And your beautiful wife is Irish. Yeah, her, her parents had dual citizenship. How yeah, so she's, she's yeah. Irish. Yeah. So uh, just in case, I'm sure. Uh, I mean, I think a lot of people in America think of think of, think of St. Patrick's Day as like start drinking at 10 a.m. day, but it's actually uh, that was the day St. Patrick, the uh, patron saint of Ireland, yes. uh, essentially brought Christianity uh, to Ireland, drove the snakes out. The snakes were symbolic as the pagans. That's right. Uh, but uh, drink it up. Uh, <laughs> some of the numbers: 5.3 billion dollars amount of money expected to be spent on St. Patrick's Day in 2017. And uh, spent on what exactly? Green, green stuff. Beer. Yeah, green yes, stuff. Yeah. Green beer, yeah. green hats. Yeah, all sorts of things. What did you say? Green bagels. Green bagels. Green bagels. Okay, bagels. Gilman. Um, <laughs> the average American on St. Patrick's Day, the party goer, average American will spend this. I feel like this is low. Thirty-six dollars and fifty cents. The average American. That feels low. I feel like it'd be more. Uh, I, I guess I don't know. I, I don't There's know. There's like two drinks in New York, right? Yeah, that is two drinks in New York. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then 56.1% number of Americans who plan to celebrate. Um, I, I don't drink. I haven't done that for a long time, but, uh, but wow, yeah, you I know. stopped. I did. Good for you. I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I, 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 no, please. I, I often, I often think about giving up alcohol for Lent and then I'm like, <laughs> that's too much of a sacrifice. Yeah. Yeah, you can only wake up on so many strange floors before you're like, maybe I shouldn't do this anymore. <laughs> uh, but, God, but God bless you if you can do it. Yeah. Uh, it's fun. And then, uh, yeah, so it should be a Those fun. Those are good. Be safe, have fun out there, be responsible Yes, it's you finally going to, yes. Yeah. Today for the parade, you know, the yeah. big St. Patty's Day parade in New York, it's uh, warming up all the way to 40 degrees. 40 so, whole degrees. Yeah, 40 whole degrees. And it's a real field temperature. Of 40 degrees. Nice. Yeah. But 40 so degrees. It's 40 that feels like 40 instead of 40 that feels like 18. That's right. But 40 in New York is not that bad. 40 in New York feels pr pretty good. 40 in New York is, you know, in 10 more degrees, they'll be topless in Central Park. <laughs> <laughs> they might be now. They might be right now. Yeah. We walk out and say that because it's St. Patrick's Day. Correct. And we would see a lot of. Uh, Never know. Yeah, we would see a lot of. It's, it, are there, is it snow? Is it going to snow again? Or are you guys done with the snow? Oh, I. I wouldn't say done. You, I mean, how far into the year does it snow in New York? Does, May. does New York know it's almost spring? It, it can snow. It can snow in May. It snowed on my wedding day, May 1st. That's beautiful. Yes, yes, yeah. So we flew to Vegas. <laughs> I was like, let's take the ultimate gamble. Let's get out of here. Yeah, where is yeah. raining? And like? they were, and they were, they were de-icing the wings. I always tell the story. They were de-icing the wings of the plane, and I was very nervous. And I was like, maybe we should. 
couldn't get on the plane. It's, it's, they're de-icing the wings. And what if it's dangerous? And then Ricky Lake got on our flight, and I was like, God would not take Ricky Lake from us. <laughs> I'm not kidding. You I was safe. Like, God, we are safe because Ricky Lake got on the plane. Ricky Lake saved your life yeah. that and day. And my marriage. And your marriage, yes. yeah. 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 I tell her that. All, I, I bumped We're all here because her. of Ricky Lake. I bump into her every now and again, and I always tell her that. And now she's like, you know, I'm sure she.